we're just going to get into the read um, because I I know this devil energy is here, but it it they gotta that's their problem. They they eventually gotta move on. So healing family issues, uh, forgiving and learning. It's it's finance and career. Those who are going through divorces, it's really more of a to me is a tactic because they're losing more. Um, so it's clearly pay attention to the red flags here. Again, you gotta be very careful with this person. Let go of control issues. That's just them. Again, try to keep you trapped as much as, as long as they can very soon. Yes, this will be over soon. Okay. Cancer, we've been getting that for a while. So this has required a lot of patience from a lot of you, whatever this transition is. I, and you know, when you, as for those who have kids, cause again, it's kids, there's kids involved. Um, this will, this takes a long time to close. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, one party has to really move forward and yeah, you're, you're focused on you. You deserve love and your new love. And this is, you've had this, a lot of you are with your person already. And a lot of you are finding your new person. I just know a lot of, I'm picking up on a lot of you who are already with your person. So we know this is shifting very soon, but there's a lot of things you guys have to pay attention to. So let's get energies on this interference just as a warning. Yeah, despair. My God, check out Taurus energy, I believe. I think they got the same energy. Give me more on this energy for the interference for Cancer. Energies and interference. Yeah, so letting go. They're having a hard time moving on, right? They're in despair. Yep. I mean, goodbyes. This is over. They, but pretend. Mask, exaggeration, bluff. Uh, this, to me, this is the red flag. So be careful. I think this person's going to make pretend they're okay for some of you. That's what makes a narcissist so fucking convincing. Sorry, guys, but it's just annoying, honestly. But that's it they're just having a hard time um letting go this this is over the far the farewell has happened it's coming it's here those in process of divorce that's also resolving itself as well so let's get into this energy here for you cancer it's too many spirit yeah she's for cancer whoa okay let's give this a shuffle so I, you know, with the way the cards are acting, I just feel this is the anxiety of this person, you know, so it must be very heavy on them, which obviously we don't care, but this is leading to lots of changes for you. Um, good one. A chapter closing. Wow. A chapter closing. Yeah. Wow. This is how this, you see how this is the tower is in this deck is called disruption. These cards were very disruptive, not behaving, but the judgment is here and it's going to shake someone up. Um, they don't like it. So we have death energy. It's over transformation eclipses. will do that. We have the Hierophant again, check out Taurus um, energy. You have Scorpio Taurus, but check out Taurus energy as well who had an ending too discontent and boredom that is them and then you are moving forward your ace is here your ace of pentacles your beginning your closure it's all happening it's all happening so this is obviously a shake up with the tower um the star wanted to show up and judgment too so this is going to work in your favor um this is what you wanted and you're going to be very happy came around this death magician seven of wands and the fool yeah a new beginning you're because you're not moving backwards you've learned this self-love here and you're in you're defending your new love you're defending your new beginning here magician energy yeah you're goodbye you figured out the devil i also feel this is their manipulative tactic they're just trying to cling and hold on and and they don't like that you get the opportunity probably to move first and them give me one on this devil yeah they're just going to create more conflict five of wands king of swords 
they're very jealous. Came around this fool. Oh my God, the devil and the two of pentacles. <sighs> cancer, cancer. You know, your readings are always so... You guys have to really figure out this devil energy in your in your aura but this is a process so this is a cleanup this you have to perceive this as a cleanup in your aura to no longer have someone attached to you as long as this devil has been in my readings for weeks you know this devil knows you've moved on right you're they uh, you know what's crazy it's almost like they perceive your new love as if you're like betraying them. That's what's even more sick and twisted about this. So you've moved on and that's that. And they're not going to like it, but that's what they got to deal with. And you're, yes, again, it's, it's, this is their energy, but pay attention. Remember, pay attention to the red flags and they're in this control, which is the king, king of swords. So they might go in, they, they're, you know, they might create situations that make them very toxic and demanding and wanting to violate your boundaries. Can you remember this Hierophant? But some of you, this is a marriage with the Hierophant and it's just over. Can you remember this Hierophant? Queen of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. You're cutting this away but uh, you know what's creepy? Um, warning for some of you too. Um, be careful this person wants to come across as their cooperative. Give me more of this Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, Four of Wands. Be careful if they want to come across as, as if they're cooperative. They know you've moved on to a new love. There goes your page of cups um, and your two of cups. Some of you, for some of you, very few of you, they might be on their last plead. You know, and will probably claim you again. Here we're on this disconnect, content and boredom. Why the four of cups? They know they missed an opportunity. This could just be in their thoughts too, right? Like, yep, there they go. Eight of swords, nine of swords. This could just be what they're feeling in the inside. So they regret not putting in the effort. That's what, well, that's what this energy is. They regret not putting in the effort. They regret not working this out. There's a lot of regret right here, a lot. That's where the despair is coming in. This is over, over. Give me more of this nine of swords. Yeah, deep. These emotions run deep. This person is undergoing um, depression with the moon, magician, and the hermit. I don't need to do reversals. If these cards were in, in reversed, that just shows their toxicity. How they're alone, they're very depressed. They, they're not trying, there's no wisdom. They're, they've just fallen, because I mean, this is clarifying the Nine of Swords. So they've fallen into this deep depression um, and the despair, because clearly we have despair, right? This, they're sinking in hopelessness, they're hopeless. That's just part of it. So there's nothing you, you don't need to feel guilty about that. Okay, we're on this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, we're on this Ace of Pentacles. So you've got a lot going on. You got stuff to focus on here. You gotta focus. You got a lot of options. I think you're very excited about this new beginning. Eight of Wands, things are progressing very nicely here with your new love. And there goes your Ace of Cups with your Queen of Pentacles. So this is a very balanced connection, Cancer. And of course, they're not going to like it because now they're seeing it unfold before their eyes. Um, but this is you. This is, yeah, look at that. Nine of Pentacles. You're grounded. You're feeling great. You're feeling happy. Ten of Cups. I mean, could this get any happier? 
<laughs> I mean, you see this death, you see where the devil is. The devil is right where your death, clarifying the death. This is meant to be. The farewells are here, Cancer. It's done. However they feel, they can feel however they want, but this is happening for you. And this is here. Basically, no, it's not happening. It's here. It's here. It's already here. Act as if, Cancer, act as if. So I'm going to pull some of these for warnings just for you guys because I feel like it's nice. To, it's good to know how to. This is how you manipulate and transmute energy when you, you're aware, where there's an awareness of understanding the psychology of the emotions of another human being. So it really is a lot of depths that's needed. So I want to give you a warning. Let's see what they're this interference energy. So they're codependent energies, um, emotionally overreacting. Yes, they, they will. They will be emotionally overreacting. You're o overthinking, which is causing a flood of unnecessary emotions. That's this here. So they're going to probably react five of five of wands or maybe have already been overreacting. So you guys caught it. So this could be past energy where you've catched them already overreacting. You kind of already see their ways and you're also not going to be bothered. Shame. Yes, they feel shame. They lost you. There's a lot of shame in this person. You are not flawed. You are so worthy of love and belonging. Forgive yourself for not giving yourself enough self-love. And this is, you know, I love how this card always shows positive light on how to conquer this. But we know this person doesn't have self-love. And so now they're experiencing a lot of shame, which will happen. That's part of their healing and that they need to deal with. That's not, that's what I'm saying. You don't need to feel guilty. Greed. You are too attached to things in an excessive way. Nothing good comes out of it. Yes, they're attached to you and it's out of greed. It's because they want what they want when they want it. That's just how they operate. And compulsive behavior. Identi identify your internal feelings. What are you looking to control or feel for the moment? Again, they're controlling. They're probably going to be very compulsive, very manipulative here. Let me clarify this magician. Yeah, so they're holding on to this relationship I, this is a magician with the devil and i feel like just their tactics are to prolong this marriage or connection to stay intact again it's a karmic loop for them and so as long as you don't move then they feel good right but here we go with the tower <laughs> oh my god uh, I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry, you guys, but it's just, it's just, you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, we've been engaging in this energy for some time now. It's just, it's just like a story now. So here goes the tower, but bottom of the tower is the ten of swords. It's over. It's, it's just, it's done. It's done. It's, it's just one of those things, right? They have to move through your energy and life. So let's see another warning for you. Spirit, what other guidance and warnings for cancer about this energy? This devil. Yep, control. They do not like losing control due to fears of getting hurt. There we go. They will. They're going to continue. Yep, and then manipulation. They will make you feel guilty when you don't give in to their desires. Yep, like I said, they want what they want when they want it. So let's see, what's the, the lesson behind this spirit? What is the lesson behind this transition for cancer? Let's see what the lessons are here. Renew an adventure. A return of passion and play. I love this. Thank you, Spirit. A return of passion and play. Community is healing, laughter, travel, and new things can re-spark your love life. Cancer, this is all new. That's what I'm saying. You're going to be happy. A lot of you are going to just engage in a new different kind of living. Your person is going to renew you. You're going to enjoy passion and play and travel and leisure talk about mutual um, alignment of shared goals and life so you have a re-spark 
I feel like we had this in your last reading. Um, comment below. But yeah, I feel like we had the Ace of Wands and there was a lot about your passion, your fire, victory and fire. So guidance for you is choices. The crossroad you are on is urging you to make a choice. Don't doubt yourself and choose with love and from your heart. Then you can never go wrong, obviously, very soon. So there's a lot of decisions that have to be, you're going to have to make here still too for some of you. You know, a lot of you already know where you're at. This is done. Let's see one more guidance. Spring, a period of renewal and bloom. So spirit is really focusing on you being renewed. Your energy is being renewed with this death happening. And I'm very happy for you because, again, it proves with all of this. This is so renewal. Again, lots of things. You have lots of things going on in your life that could indicate all the travel you're doing. Eight of Wands is travel as well. So going places, lots of newness, Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles with someone really grounded, just very grounded, something that's grounding you and making you renew yourself, feeling more yourself and more happy and fulfilled in life. <sighs> Beautiful Cancer. Um, this is something that you guys may process for a while. So I think the goal here is to understand how to transmute the negatives of this person. Don't let them bring you down because you've got all this happiness. So don't let it disrupt this great energy. Focus on your frequency and do more no contact. If you have to control the situation where this person can have very little um, access to you. So I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.